the institutions have been captured. And whenever we'd go, India Alliance would go, we'd go, we'd stress on this idea that look, the institutions are captured and we don't have a fair playing field. Uh, the education system is captured by the RSS. The media system is captured. The investigative agencies are captured. And we keep saying this and people were not quite getting it. And we would keep saying it, keep saying it again and again and again. And somehow they were just not getting it. And we couldn't understand why, because we were like, it's obvious to us, it's obvious to them, and something wasn't working. And then in one meeting, uh, one of the people who works with us said, listen, try holding up the constitution. And so I started holding up the constitution. And everything we had said, suddenly just exploded. So, India realized in this election and really, I mean, not to divide it so crudely, but poor India, disenfranchised India, oppressed India, that India, it understood that if the constitution goes, the whole game is gone. And so that just, that was the first sort of, I saw it, there was a shockwave, that when I would hold up the constitution, it would go, like I could see the shockwave going, that people are like, oh yeah. And then people started coming to me, you know, when you're in these meetings, you will start hearing from the sides, that, you know, they'll, they'll bring a constitution, or they'll start saying it. So what was very interesting to me was, poor people deeply understood that now this was a fight between those who are protecting the constitution and those who want to destroy it. So that was one very strong element.